With spring knocking on Melbourne's door, many of us are already suffering hay fever symptoms. Medical reporter Emily Rice tells us why more people seem to be sneezing and wheezing so early this year. Spring officially begins in one week, but for many Victorians, the telltale signs of hay fever have already sprung up feels like it's come earlier this year. I've been having symptoms for probably close to two weeks. Bayside resident Rebecca Tilly is among those who suffer from allergic rhinitis, the common sinus and respiratory irritation that comes with the change of season. Runny nose, itchy eyes, sneezing, which is really bad during COVID because everybody stares at you. But botanist Ed Newbigin from the Melbourne Pollen Count says Victoria's traditional hay fever season only peaks around October, November. So these early allergy bouts are being whipped up by Melbourne's infamous plane trees. So it'll be the deciduous trees. Associate Professor Newbigin and his team have developed a free Pollen Count app which forecasts high hay fever and asthma risk days starting on September the 1st. We think we're leading the world with developing better forecasting technologies. The National Asthma Council says now is the time to start taking your hay fever medication and your preventer puffer, not just your reliever, so you can be on top of your symptoms by the time the allergy season peaks. We do know that hay fever can really trigger flare-ups in, you know, in asthma and that's what we really want to try and avoid. And given hay fever can mimic COVID symptoms, always opt for a test instead of making a diagnostic guess. Emily Rice, Nine News.